So much happened the night the meteorite fell. We all had a lot to think about. I wonder if anyone slept. Slept okay then? Your new friend talked a lot about lightning. I kind of figured you'd be tossing and turning all night. I don't think my sister would want me moping around. So, you're just taking him at his word? He says he's from the future, but where's the proof? I guess you're right. It's just hard after I had that dream about lightning. You know what I mean? You were up late last night, Mackie. Big project? P project Yeah, I, I was, uh, working on something for Snow. That thing, y you know. <laughs> hey, Sarah. Listen, what's the deal with you and that Noel guy, anyway? If I said I was going with him, would you stop me? Let you run off with some con artist? I'd beat him half to death first. Let's meet outside once you're ready, okay? Sarah, wait up for me. All this talk about artifacts and gates and time travel, to be honest, I don't know if I'm ready to believe it. Sarah, there's still so much I don't understand myself. If we can actually find an artifact, then I'll know what I've been saying is true. And once we open the gate, you'll be able to put some of your doubts to rest as well. So what do you think? Will you search for the answers with me? Give me a chance and I'll prove that it's true. I'll answer as best I can. Okay, so what's this gate all about? It's a time portal. They appear when the timelines are out of sync. But apparently not just anyone can pass through them. And that's where the artifacts come in? Right. You use an artifact to attune the portal, thereby activating it. At least, that's what they say. What? Is that the artifact? This is Lightning's knife. I keep it in my room, but how did it get out here? There. <laughs> Snow! <Sarah! laughs> Daddy! Come on. Okay. <laughs> it's her knife. I found it near the base of the pillar. Sorry, she must be inside the pillar. The lightning's holding up Cocoon, along with the Neil Wait, what are you talking about? She was right here a second ago. I saw her. We talked. She gave us her blessing.
forget that moment. Lightning was happy. Happy that Snow and I were getting married. She laughed and said congrats. But then, all of a sudden, Lightning disappeared. She was gone, like she was never there to begin with. No one else remembered her smiling and laughing. No one but me. All your friends think your sister is inside that pillar. I was scared. People said I was dreaming. They said... They said I was just making up stories so that I didn't have to face the truth. Listen, Sarah. Your memories are the truth. Lightning is alive. The question is why are you the only one who remembers? Well... Perhaps history changed somehow. You mean, your memories are true, but history was altered afterwards? Of course, that's not really possible. I know that. But I just don't understand how I can remember it so clearly when no one else can. Weird. The knife looks like it's been polished. Maybe someone was cleaning it out here and then forgot about it. I don't think this is our artifact, though. Let's keep looking. The guys on Cocoon aren't gonna come all the way out here now. Always rocking the latest look. look. I think Mog has found something. But that's just a cat. Oh, and it's with the one we keep at Nora House. Wait, the cat isn't an artifact, is it? No, I don't think so. Maybe the cat could have picked up the artifact. After her! Stay on her, Mom. Fireworks of old Bowden. I honestly thought we were being attacked by a foul sea. Snow, so this is where you got to. And the artifact isn't here, huh? Snow? Koopo? Oh, yeah. She's my pet. Koopo? Huge found her and brought her home. Hey, I don't see why not. I think we should keep her too. Uh, just as long as she doesn't make a mess in my workshop. <laughs> yeah. Hey, girl. Are you sure you can look after her? Can't we all do it? I mean, we are mm. one big family, right? Yeah, right. Mac, you'll do it. Uh, you Whoa. too. <laughs> Thanks. She's adorable. Uh. I thought I could hide it from them, but they knew. They saw right through me. I'd lost lightning, and then snow. But those guys, they really tried to cheer me up. <laughs> so it hasn't been all bad. No, not at all. Life is harder here compared to back on Cocoon. But everyone sticks together. Even in the tough times, we have each other. That helps. Those friends of yours are like family, aren't they? Yeah. Yes. But it's only part of a family. It just doesn't feel whole without my sister, you know? If it's what you really want, one day you'll be together again. We're way off track. Where else should we look? Mog, help us out here. Kofu! Sarah, who's that guy with you? Look, the moon. 
Vogel's reacting to the kids. Yeah, I don't think he's just looking for playmates. Good morning! These are my students. I teach their classes. A school teacher, huh? Right! I'm so glad you're all safe. Yeah. Now, did everyone do their homework? I did mine, because I didn't want you getting mad at me like the last time. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like you'd be soft on kids, but you're pretty strict, huh? Hey. Not that bad. Come on. You know, I'm only strict because my teacher was strict. Hmm. Lightning must have rubbed off on me. My grandmother was a teacher, too. She taught me everything I know. She taught me about Grand Pulse and its history. <laughs> Do you want to go back to your own time? Even if I did, there's no one waiting for me. Besides, I don't even know if it's possible. So what are you going to do? I'm not sure. First, I want to help you track down your sister. Then, well, there are things I'm looking for too. That's the kid I was looking for! I knew my eyes weren't playing tricks on me! It's Mackie! I better get out of here! Hey, what's he got there? Let's follow him. Nothing to report, no sir. <laughs> what are you running from? Watch it, don't go that way. I won't get mad if you tell me. I know you say you won't get mad at me, but I can't tell you. I don't want to get yelled at. The kid was trying to get away from Mackie. I bet you anything he was up to no good. I hope you're not misbehaving. It makes me sad when my students don't behave. I'm sorry, Miss Farron. I guess I'll own up. The truth is, I sold something for Mackie. And that's why he was chasing you? What did you take? This necklace. It belongs to you, doesn't it? Hey, wait! What was he doing with this anyway? That belongs to Mackie, doesn't it? No, it's mine. It's a reminder of a promise a good friend made me. Uh, 
Sarah, I believe you. Your sister's alive. She's out there somewhere. Thank you, Snow. Here, you hang on to this for a while. When I come back, it'll be with lightning. Then there's no way she can say no to us getting married. Okay. Okay. And that was the last time I saw snow. The memories I had of lightning standing on the plain beneath Cocoon. He was the only one who believed. Believed them enough to do something. And doing nothing, right? Lightning and snow are long gone, but you still sit here and wait. Why didn't you go after them? I have faith in snow. He is a hero after all. And has that faith been enough? Neither of you want to be apart, yet here you are alone. Don't you think I know that? <sighs> Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. But you tell me, what good is a hero if he's never around? <sighs> no artifact yet, huh? No, instead, my things are showing up in places they shouldn't be. I wonder if someone's trying to mess with us. I doubt it. No one here would do something like that. Hmm. I guess not. Unless they think they're doing the right thing. It might not be a person at all. I mean, with time and space being warped everywhere, anything could happen, really. Right. And that's how your things ended up out here? It's not a bad theory. Okay, so maybe we should ask if anyone else is missing stuff. Let's head to the house and find out. I was thinking, if Noel here really is from the future, he must be pretty curious about this time period. That's true. We should probably explain a few things. I'm all ears. We were all born and raised on Cocoon, but three years ago, our home basically fell out of the sky. We couldn't rely on the Broken Foul Sea anymore. So, most of us made the decision to move to Pulse. Weren't there millions of people living on Cocoon? It must have been pretty cramped. Well, it was. But on Pulse, we had to deal with new hardships, like vicious monsters and a lack of provisions. Sounds like a rough time. Yeah. But eventually, things settled down, and some former military types helped get things organized. Now, there's a growing town at the base of Cocoon's Pillar. The guys who used to be in charge are long gone. How did you end up in this place, then? Our leader, Snow, suggested we live somewhere near the ocean. We used to live in a seaside town on Cocoon, so it was like we were rebuilding our home. Snow and the rest of us were used to fighting monsters and getting our hands dirty. So we pretty much settled back into our old way of life. Snow's not around right now, so we do the best we can. But if Lightning were back, everything would be so much better. So for everyone here, your sister being gone is the reality. Hey, check it out. Wait. Okay, what is that? How how did that happen? It's a twist in time. Something that doesn't belong. Yeah. I think this is an artifact. We found an artifact, just as Noel said we would. Does this mean everything else he said is true? Did he really meet lightning in Valhalla? Maybe. Once I step through the gate, I'll be leaving my friends, 
my students and the village for who knows how long. Can you tell me, Lightning? Do I dare believe this man? I'm going to take this artifact and open that gate. But you still don't trust me, do you? I can see it in your eyes. If there's anything you're wondering about or don't believe, just ask, and I'll try to explain. Well, there is one thing. What is it you want, exactly? A future that has people in it. I lived at the end of days. I was the very last child to be born. As I grew up, everyone I knew died, one by one, until eventually it was just me. All their dreams fell on my shoulders. I was their last hope. It was too much, so I left. Sure, maybe I couldn't go home again. Maybe I couldn't make everyone happy. But at the very least, I could rebuild a future where everyone could survive. So I went through the gate. I wasn't thinking very clearly then. I had a dream, but I didn't think it all out. I didn't know what it really meant. But once I got here and saw how you and your friends live in this village, I knew my dream could come true. In Valhalla, your sister gave me a chance. She gave me hope. The future can be changed. That's what she told me, and I believe her. I understand. Thank you, Noel. Thank you for telling me that. Sure you're ready? You know, once we go through, there might be no coming back. Yes, I'm ready to go. It's not a dream or a lie. I know my sister is alive out there. I'm sorry I doubted you. Of all people, I should know how bad it can make you feel when no one believes what you say. Snow put all his trust in me. Now it's my turn to do the same for you. I've made up my mind. You and I. We go together. I won't let you down. We'll find Valhalla, I promise. <laughs> 